welcome to aesthetic home decor stuff if you love a traditional and charming aesthetic you have come to the right place on our channel we will take you on a journey into the world where the old meets the new in the most beautiful way our videos will provide you with the best ideas and tips for shabby chic style farmhouse decor we should try to make every corner of your home beautiful and inviting whether it's the bedroom living room kitchen or any cozy nook in between we will show you how to transform eye catching old and thrifty items into stunning decor pieces you will see how we blend vintage and contemporary elements to create a unique and charming atmosphere join us as we explore how to make your home magical and splendid space we will share the secret of shabjik style that will turn your home into a dreamland our goal is to make each day more beautiful and peaceful for you to subscribe now and join us on this delightful journey don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest video and never miss out on fresh ideas let's delve into our beautiful video so grab a cup of tea sit back and let's get started firstly let's talk about Shabichik is originally it is in the 20th century Shabichik combine elements of antique elegance and rustic charm this style is all about creating a soft romantic lived-in look using vintage furniture distressed finish and a mix of pastel colors the goal is to achieve a balance between the old and the new making your space feel both cozy and sophisticated Chabichik decor often features vintage or antique furniture with distressed finish. Think of peace with chipped paint, worn edge, and a history that add character to your home. You can find such items at flea market, antique stores, or even in your own attic. Let's talk about the soft color palettes. The color palettes in Chabichik decor typically include white, cream, pastel, and muted tones. These colors create a calm and serene atmosphere, perfect for any farmhouse setting. Use plenty of soft, cozy textile like lace, linen, and cotton, ruffle cushion, floral print, and crochet dollies. Add to the romantic vibe of Chabichik style. Incorporate accessories like vintage vases, distressed picture frame, and antique mirror. This small touch can make a big difference in achieving the shabby chic look. One of the best part of shabby chic decor is its emphasis on sustainability. Repurposed and upcycled old items to give them a new life. For example, an old wooden ladder can become a stylish bookshelf. Our masoon jars can be turned into charming candle holders. Creating a cozy and inviting living room with a mix of vintage furniture, plush cushions and delicate curtains. Add a distressed coffee table and a few rustic shelves to complete the look. Transform your bedroom into a serene retreat with a soft color palette, vintage bed frames and plenty of comfy throw. Don't forget to add a few antique beside tables and some charming wall art. In the kitchen, use open shelving to display your beautiful vintage dishware. Incorporate a stick element like wooden cutting board and animal wear to enhance the farmhouse feel. For the bathroom, think clawfoot tubs, vintage mirror and soft pastel colors. Add some antique store solution for a touchy of shabby chic elegance. Extend the shabby chic style to your garden with distressed planters. Vintage gardens, furniture and whimsical garden, decor like bird cage and old watering cans. We will share plenty of DIY projects and tips to help you achieve the shabby chic look without breaking the bank. From distressing furniture to creating your own vintage inspired decor, we will guide you through each step with easy to follow tutorials. Let's talk about the living room, the heart of farmhouse. 
Imagine stepping into a space filled with soft pastel hues, displays free in nature and vintage decor. Begin with neutral color palette for the walls, soft white creams and light grays work best. This creates a serene backdrop that allows you to decor to shine. Incorporate a distressed wooden coffee table, perhaps one with white wash finish to add that rustic charm for creating for seating. Opt for a plush, overstuffed sofa in a pale shade, adorned with a mix of floral and a type cushion. Add a few cozy throw in pastel color to enhance the springtime feel. To complete the look, include vintage-inspired accessories such as distress mirror, an antique clock, and an assortment of picture frame with sepia tone family photos. A vase of fresh spring flowers like tulips or daisies on the coffee table will add a splash of color and a touch of nature to your living room. Next, let's move to the our beautiful garden. This garden is beautiful. With shabby chic style, let's next move to the kitchen, the place where delicious meals and fond memories are made. Shabby chic kitchen are all about combining functionality with the vintage charm. Start with open shelving to display your beautiful collection of mismatched china and glassware. This shell can be made from reclaimed wood to add a rustic touch. Paint your cabinet in a soft pastel shade, mint green, baby blue or plush pink are perfect choices for spring. Incorporate a farmhouse sink with distress finish to enhance the rustic feel. For your counter pole, tops, Consider butcher block or a white marble effect to keep things light and airy. Decorate the kitchen with vintage con consister, masoon jar filled with dried goods and a wooden crate for fresh fruit and vegetables. Hang a vintage inspired candelier above the dining table to add a touch of elegance. Finally place potted herb on the windows will to bring a bit of the outdoor inside. Now let's retreat to the bedroom, your personal sanctuary. A shabby chic bedroom should feel cozy, romantic and inviting. Begin with an antique iron bright frame painted in white soft pastel color. Dress the bed in layers of linen. Think ruffle the white lace cover, lace trim pillowcase and a quilt in a floral pattern. Add a winter dresser with a distress finish, top with few elegant accessories like a lace dolly, a crystal lamp, and a vase of fresh flowers. A shabby chic bedroom is not complete without a comfy reading knob. Place the cushion armchair in the corner with an 80 throw blanket and a stack of classic novel to tie the room together. Hang sheer below me, curtains to light in natural light and create a soft dreamy atmosphere and a rug in a light floral pattern to provide warmth and texture underfoot. Don't forget the bathroom, a space that often gets overlooked but can be a true gem in the shabby chic farmhouse. Start with the claw foot tub which instantly adds vintage charm. Paint the wall in a light pastel shade and consider using headboards for an added touch of texture and character. For the vanity, opt for a piece that has a distress finish and antique feel. Top it with a pore cleansing and a vintage style fixer. Use open shelving or a glass front cabinet to display your fluffy white towels and pretty tallery bottles and accessories like a vintage mirror, a small candelier and fresh flower in masoon jar, a floral shower curtain and a soft plush mat bath. Matt will complete the look, turning your bathroom into a serene retreat. Finally, let's not forget the entryway, the first impression of your charming farmhouse. Choose a rustic wooden bench with a distress finish, perfect for sitting down to take your above boots. Above it, hang a gallery wall of vintage frames and mirror to add character and depth. A shabby chic coat rack or a series of vintage hooks can provide practical story for coats and bags. Place a woven basket or a vintage crate beside. 
the bench for storing shoes or umbrellas and the soft welcoming rug with a floral pad when to greet you as you step inside to finish of the entryway a small console table with a distress finish and there you have it a step by step guide of transforming each area of your farmhouse into shabby chic heaven perfect for spring with a mix of vintage fine soft colors and the touch of creativity you can create a home that's both cozy and elegant don't forget to subscribe to aesthetic home decor stuff for more tips and inspiration and don't forget to share your feedback in the comment section i love to read your comments and your feedback means the world to me so don't forget to share the channel with your friends and family who would love to do shabby chic decor in their farmhouse so now next until next time we would like to say you a goodbye happy decorating and happy aesthetic home decor stuff